Hi kids, tonight we have a new beatitude to learn and it is this, happy are the pure in heart and it's from Matthew 5, 8. We're going to talk tonight about the parable of the sower. Parables are stories that Jesus told when he was teaching people things. A sower is a person who plants things. In this particular parable, Jesus talked about different places where a seed might land when it's planted. One is on a hard path, another on rocky soil, another on thorny ground, and the last one is on good soil. And this is what he taught them about those. When people hear the good news about Jesus, they react in ways that go with the different soils. They might, number one, not understand it. That's the hard path. Number two, they might hear the message and be joyful, but their roots don't go very deep, and so they fall away. That's the rocky soil. Number three, they might hear and understand the message, but then just get too caught up with life and forget about it. That's the thorny soil. The last one is this. They might truly understand God's word. These people read and follow God's word, and they can't help but tell others about it too. They have pure hearts, like in our verse. Let's find out a little bit more about what it is to have a pure heart. Listen to this short Devo by my friend Jamie and see if you can figure it out. God is so cool. He wants us to be happy. His word teaches us how to have a happy life. In the book of Matthew, he says, happy are the pure in heart. It's interesting that he does not say, happy are the rich, the person with the best shoes, the person with the best gaming system, the person with the pool, the person with all the junk food they could ever want, the person with the best four-wheeler or snowmobile, person with the most likes on Instagram, the most followers on Facebook, or even the person who's got their own YouTube ch channel. Instead, the Bible says, happy are those who are pure in heart. Well, how do I get one of those? My heart was dirty and broken and I couldn't fix it. I was hoping God would fix it and clean it up a little bit, but you know what? He didn't do that. Instead, he gave me a brand new heart. He changed me. And he will give you a new heart too, if you ask him. God wants our lives to be good. God wants us to have joy, no matter what's going on around us. And he's always ready to help us to grow closer to him. Let's pray. Father, thank you for leading me closer to you. You amaze me every day. I'm grateful for your love and grace. Please give me a new heart. I want you to be the Lord of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Maybe our answer about what pure in heart really means is that if we have a pure heart, we really want to know God. Just plain know him. So your challenge for the week is to look up the three verses that I will write in the comments and see how you can go about knowing God better. See what you can learn about him. Before we go, let me show you my plant. It's blooming and it looks great, doesn't it? But last winter, it looked terrible. I neglected it. I didn't feed it. I didn't water it and I thought it had died. I was down to the bulb, but I decided to try an experiment. I put brand new soil in the pot, planted the bulb in there, put it in a sunny window and watered it and took care of it. Took a while, but look what happened. And look even in here, what more is happening. It's gonna bloom a whole bunch more. That's what it's like when we set out to know God. When we want to know him better. It helps us to grow in our lives. He helps us to grow in our lives. And the new heart that he gives us blooms and blooms, just like my plant. I want to have that pure heart, don't you? On another topic, we are closer, I think, to being able to meet. But I need some adults who will be helpers in different areas on Monday nights. So if you know someone 
who might be interested. Tell them to call me or message me or just put a comment in the, the comments below the video. Of course, everything is dependent on how things go with COVID. And I know school is still up and down and all around for everybody. But maybe we'll be able to at least try it soon if we get some helpers. So we'll at least talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.